Hi, so we have reached the exercise on um, the multiplication of two uh, matrices. So we have uh, two matrices, so A and B. So in order to do the multiplication of uh, A and B, so, so the number of columns of the first matrix should match the number of rows of the second matrix. So if the first matrix, so it's written here, if it's uh, the first matrix is uh, of dimension RC, so the second should have the number of rows equal to C, and if it's equal to P, so the uh, matrix, the multiplication matrix is of size R and uh, P. So, uh, in other words, I need to fill this uh, matrix. So, for example, here, if uh, so the dimension is equal to 4, 3, and then uh, the second matrix uh, is, is 3, 2, so at the end we will have 4 by 2. So, let's uh, let's uh, see what we will do. So, first we need to, to read the dimension. So, here we have just three dimensions, R, C, and P, because C should be the same. And then we need to read two matrices, A and B, and then we will do the multiplication. So, the multiplication we need to, uh, so we have R rows and P columns. So, okay, we know we have a for loop on I, and we have a for loop on J. However, in order to calculate each, each term here, so look well, so I will multiply A by P, B by R and C by T. So for each row, so I will multiply the first row by the first column and for the second term, the first row and the second column. So if you look well, in order to find this uh, uh, element, so okay, we know that we need to multiply uh, uh, the matrix A00 by B00 and A01 by B10 and stuff like that. So we know that if uh, for AIJ, I will multiply by uh, BJI, so if, if, if I and J are the number of rows and columns, however, we need to do uh, uh, at least, so here we have to do two um, summations, so why we should do uh, two uh, summations, so, uh, or, or, or we have to, to do three summations, because here we have three terms, because the number of terms in the summation is equal to C, which is the number of columns, so if the number of columns is equal to 10, so here we will have 10 terms and we need to do the sum in 10 terms. So this is the uh, uh, trick here, this is the idea, is that uh, we need to fill in uh, uh, R and uh, P, so the dimension is equal to R and P, and however, the number of terms here, so we do, we should loop C times uh, in order to do the summation. So, I'll be using the uh, exercise on the sum of two matrices and I will modify it since we know well how to read the dimension, how to read a matrix, how to display a matrix, and how to manipulate a matrix. So, for that, so we have two matrices A and B and we need one for the multiplication. So, I would call it MALT. Let's keep it uh, in capital. And of course, uh, the maximum would be of size size. So, I will not be having more than size size. So, I need, so let's keep this. I need R, C, and P, so R, C are dimensions, and I need R, and I, J, and one additional K, we'll uh, see it later. So, we will enter, so let's write here a print of uh, first matrix, so we'll be reading the dimension for the first matrix, so uh, we will read the number of rows, which is equal to R, right, and then we will read the number of columns, so first matrix A, and then I'll be reading A. So let's go to the standard input. So I need, so I will enter four and three, and I will enter the first matrix. This is okay. And then I will print A, and then I'll be reading B. So however, here in B, uh, I should also read P because the number of rows is equal to C. However, the number of columns would be equal to P. So I need to read the number of uh, uh, columns. So I will copy this for the print of. So before reading B, second matrix B, I will be reading just the number of columns and I will call it P, so as it was instructed in the uh, in the text. So, I will read P, so P should be again less than zero or equal to size, and so again look well, uh, B, the number of rows equal to C and the number of columns is equal to P. So I'll be reading a B and then I will be displaying a B. So again here we have C and P. So we have read. So I, in the input I need also to place the uh, number of, uh, of uh, columns. So I have 4, 3. Let's say I have 3, 2. I have 3 rows and 2 columns. So I will keep just uh, 3 rows and 2 columns. So this is the first matrix. 
it's four by three and the second one is three by two three rows and two columns so and then so i will erase all these so i need to calculate the uh, uh, multiplication matrix so in order to calculate the multiplication matrix i will go back so the 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 elements here so we have uh, r row and p column so we will loop so for i equal to zero i less than r i plus plus and j will loop from i equal to zero till p i less than p and we need to calculate the multiplication so in order to calculate so here i need to calculate m of ij so m of ij it's not just 0 1 or a single number it's all, all again it's the summation of uh, three elements so the three elements are uh, it's the number of columns here and it's the number of rows here which is equal to c so i need to loop c times so for that i will be doing for k so for that i'm using a k k less than a c k plus plus so here i'm ha i have three elements so and what i should do what i uh, so i need to add to m so m i j plus m so since i'm adding there's a sum so i need to initialize it to zero so obviously i will do it for each element i will start from zero so it's important to place m of i j equal to zero before doing the summation here and for each loop i need to reinitialize i and j to zero so at each element look well i'm multiplying a of uh, 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 i so we have k here it's a of a i k multiple b of k j so it's already given however you can look well and check so m uh, a of a zero zero with b of zero zero a of zero one by b of uh, one zero and a of zero uh, two with uh, b of 2 0 so this is uh, why we have uh, a k here so it's plus equal so a of i k plus multiple uh, b of k j and this is it so we have done the multiplication of each term and we have done uh, we have calculated three terms and we have added these three terms to m of ij and we have calculated the sum so let's print now the the uh, not sum the multiplication so here we don't have m it's called a uh, mult so let's keep it m it's easier for writing and then we need to print the multiplication the multiplication so print f matrix m so m the number of rows is equal to uh, uh, not c is equal to r and the number of columns is equal to p this is right and i need to display dm of ij so let's see if it uh, if it's correct it's still turning and we will end up with this output so let's check uh, quickly so we have here uh, two uh, multiple three is equal to six 7 multiple 0 is 0, so it's, for now we have 6, and 6 multiple 2 is equal to 12, 12 plus 6 is equal to 18, uh, this is good. So let's uh, check uh, this 1, uh, minus 4, so it's the, uh, la, 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 the, the, the the last row with the first column, so 0 uh, multiple 3 is 0, 7 multiple 0 is 0, 2 multiple 2 is equal to minus 4, and yes, this is okay. So let me repeat quickly and uh, skim over the code, so we have uh, 3 matrices A, B, and uh, M, so M is the multiplication matrix, we have R, C, and P dimensions, so the dimension of A is R and C, R row and c columns so b in order to do the multiplication the number of rows of uh, c should match the number of columns of a so for that the dimension of b is c and the number of columns would be equal to p so whenever we multiply a and b m would be of size r p so r rows and p columns so we have read the number of rows the number of columns of a and we have read the matrix a then we have displayed the matrix a and then we have read just the number of columns of the matrix b since the number of rows is the same so it's equal to c and then we have read the uh, matrix b so c rows and p columns and we have displayed it and then we have calculated the uh, elements of the matrix m so we have r rows and p columns so for that we have four loops 
the first it looks over r and the second for p and for the uh, multiplication we need c uh, terms so those terms are the multiplication of a of i k and b of k j and then we have displayed the matrix m so this is it for this exercise and again if you have any questions do not hesitate to uh, write to me and thanks for watching